Come here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Here's Miley's wanting to say happy belated Christmas. Um, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet, and I'm so sad that I wasn't here with you guys yesterday to announce my Christmas giveaway winner, but um, as you can tell, my throat is very raspy. Um, as per usual, after I've been going, 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 going for any length of time, as soon as I, um, as soon, excuse you, she just burped. Um, as soon as I have a second that lets up, I get a bad head cold, and that's what happened yesterday. I was in bed or on the couch because I've been staying at my mom's since her surgery. Um, as soon as I get a second of breathing, you know, like things just stop going crazy. Um, I was in bed like all day yesterday. I was just not feeling well today. I'm not great, but I missed you guys. I wanted to do these giveaway, the giveaway winners and stuff. So please bear with me. I hope you guys can hear me well enough. My voice is going in and out, but um, I would love to welcome all of our new subscribers. Of course, welcome back everyone else. Thank you all so much for your um, support. If you're hearing noises in the background, it's Miley eating. My mom's making some tea for herself. And uh, yeah, but um, today I am going to be um, announcing my Christmas giveaway winner. I'm also announcing the second redraw winner of my November surprise giveaway um, that I do every month. Uh, the first person that had a month never got back to me. The second person had well over a week, I think, maybe even longer, didn't get back to me. So I'm doing my last redraw for the November surprise giveaway and hopefully that person will get back to me. And then I'm also gonna announce last week's subscriber of the week winner. Um, if I have time after that, oh, I'm also gonna go ahead and open day 25. I have not opened it. I didn't open it on Christmas day because I wanted to open it with you guys. But um, day 25 of my Wooly Mama advent calendar. Um, and then I'll show you the days um, from the last video until now, which I believe are days 19 through 24. Um, and then if I happen to have time, I'm going to, well, I'm going to try to open at least my Christmas cards. The two other happy mail may have to wait because I don't really have a ton of time, um, left on my camera today. So, uh, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. My mom needed something. So anyway, let's go ahead and do, I normally have these already out in order so that I can not have to waste time with that. But let me go ahead and show you, um, days. Uh oh, I think I'm missing one. Nope. Okay. That's 19. Okay, so day 19 was in this yellow polka dotted bag. I think I told you guys everything. Um, anyway, my mom's surgery um, went well. They they I did a live during that time. They did a different um, um, a different. Uh, Anyway, they did it differently than they we had talked about for anything and whatever, but it seems to have gone well and She's healing well. We did go to urgent care on Friday because we thought she may have a urinary tract infection and the doctor called in a, an antibiotic But they wanted her to go get a, a urine test so that in the event that the antibiotic didn't work They had cultures that they could go back and look at um, to figure out what the problem is so we found a new urgent care clinic that's awesome and in the event and hopefully we wouldn't have to use it again we know where to go um but otherwise uh she's doing fairly well the problem is she overdid it on wednesday um without having an incision or anything it's not really telling her that she had major surgery so it's hard for her to you know not do regular activities so i'm like just making sure she stays you know relaxing and stuff but anyway so day 19 is beautiful I'm hoping the colors come out good oh, I hate this camera really irritates me because it won't focus um, but I love it I love all these colors I'm so excited to see them all together um, day 20 is in this orange polka dotted bag this one is beautiful I'm hoping you can see all the colors it's got like yellow this is also like sherbet um, the yellow pinks and a little bit of orange in it. It's beautiful. So stunning um, Day 21 was in this pink polka dotted bag and that's this one right here. Love the speckling It's not looking as pink. It looks more almost I Don't know. It, it looks a little bit different to me in camera than it does in real life. This is like really bright pink um, I'm hoping it's coming out well enough. I know the coloring isn't great, but I really didn't have a chance. I've literally been in bed like yesterday and today. So um, this one was in the purple. This was day 22. This one is stunning. So beautiful. Um, then 
day 23 was in this blue polka dotted one. This one is gorgeous. I love this one so much. So, so, so beautiful. And then day 24 was in this green polka dotted one. Again, this is looking more, in real life, it looks like a darker blue. It's looking more tealy, I think, on camera. But it's absolutely stunning. So beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and open up day 25, which was Christmas Day. I waited to open it with you guys. But look at how it's beautifully packaged. Day 25, Wooly Mama Yarns. Oops, can you see that? Yeah. Um, it says colorway is Jingle Bell Rock. Yarn weight is four-ply fingering. It's 100 grams, 465 yards. It's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. I guess worst comes to worst. If I don't, if I run out of space, I can put this video on my computer after it's edited and then start again. But um, I'm hoping I don't have to do that. All right. So sorry for all the crinkling, but oh, oh my gosh, is this not gorgeous? I'm telling you, she does amazing work. I can't squeal. I apologize, but this is unbelievably beautiful. This, and it's so soft, so, so soft. But these beautiful pinks and blues and, oh my goodness, all the speckling. I love it. Is this not gorgeous? This is going to go so well with all those other colors. Now, I'm trying to think if I do the Hocus Pocus shawl from uh, Leather Company last year, I may start out with the main colorway. What? Okay. Um, the main colorway and do like a bigger section, like maybe at the end, but then do all the... I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out which one I'm going to do. Um, it's this one. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? My mom just wanted to see it. Awesome. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So, oh wait. And there was one more extra surprise. I decided to wait for Christmas Day, which is now day after Christmas. But um, let's see what this is. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I was trying to squeal. Look, it's an iridescent... Um, um, uh, notions pouch kind of sort of it'll fit knit, knitting needles and hooks and stuff oh my gosh how did she know I mean she knows because she does this is the kind of stuff she does but if you have to cough cough my mom's been having a cough too because of, they intubated her and so that always irritates her throat and then she coughs for days and days and days after all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna announce last week's subscriber of the week winner and then we will go on to maybe um, cards or so. I don't know. We'll see. But um, if you're new and you're here, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. And if you guys wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up as well as commenting and sharing, I would greatly appreciate it. I know my throat is all wacko. This isn't how I normally sound. But um, all right. So last week's subscriber of the week winner is... Congratulations, Natalie. I'm so excited for you. Thank you so, so much for all of your support throughout all of the time. I mean, you've been with me for so long. I really do appreciate it and appreciate you. Um, I know I have your address, but if you wouldn't mind emailing me anyway, just so I know you saw this video, I would appreciate it. And then I will get your card out to you um, as soon as I can. Things are still crazy. Oh, yeah. And for those of you who know I have your address and you haven't received a Christmas card, it's because with this month having been what it was, and if you've been watching my videos last month, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, I just didn't have the time to finish them all. I still have a bunch left. Those of you that haven't gotten a Christmas card, you still will get a Christmas card if, as long as I have your address. Um, you may just not receive them until, in honor, until and in honor of our Christmas, which is January 7th. Sorry, guys. Oh, crap. Um, uh, until December or January 7th, but that will be in honor of our Christmas. Um, so uh, please forgive me, but I'm doing my best with getting them out. I was planning on working on them all day yesterday, but I literally, I think was in bed almost the whole day. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and open these cards and then, um, I forgot to bring over the, um, letter opener, but, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is from Karen. Wow, it's very taped up. Okay. 
Oh, how pretty. Look at Joy. I am still going to be setting up my scape. It'll be my scape. My Christmas scape will be up until like um, January 19th ish, roughly, because that's when we celebrate Epiphany. Um, but and our Christmas is January 7th. So I will still put up a Christmas scape so that you guys can see it. I know you guys really enjoy the Christmas ones. Um, that's so sweet, Karen. Thank you so incredibly much for this beautiful card. I greatly appreciate it. That will be going up on the scape. And then. <clears throat> this is from Colleen. It was barely even, um, oops, barely even, um, like, uh, glued shut. But, oh, this is, I love it. I love it. It's got the sparkly <clears throat> snowman, which if you guys have been following me for, uh, on, well, for a while, even, not even a while, I collect snowmen, so this is awesome. And I love anything sparkly, so, Yay. Sending warm wishes your way for the happiest of holidays. Um, oh, you're so sweet, Colleen. Thank you so much. Miley, Miley, shh. That was somebody, that's somebody laughing on the TV in Baba's room. She's so silly. She's been hearing all kinds of stuff, and it's either from the TVs or whatever. But thank you so much, Colleen. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And then this one is from Melanie. And look, she's got stickers. This one looks like it fell off from where it was supposed to be, but that's okay. A little bone and a candy cane and a little doggy. So cute. Thank you so much. Uh, she's, she's followed me for a long time, too, so I know she knows I love stickers. Oh, look at that. How adorable. What a cute doggy. Yeah, I know, Miley. Don't give me an attitude. Um, I hope your holiday are filled with uh, your holidays are filled with love and joy merry christmas um okay well i'm not i i don't read the private messages on camera but you guys got to check out this beautiful stitch marker she i'm guessing she made look at this is this not awesome hold on look at that a dog bowl with a dog bone in it is that not cute oh my gosh i love this melanie thank you so incredibly much that is so thoughtful <laughs> miley look this is for you. That's for the, the, the doggy. Look, come here. Miley, hurry up. I don't have time. Come here. Look. Say hi to your peeps. Say hi, my peeps. Here's a close-up picture of my face. Okay, go. Now go. Go that way. Thank you so much, Melanie. I very much appreciate that beautiful stitch marker. Thank you so, so much. I love all my handmade, or not even handmade, but all the stitch markers I've gotten from you guys over the last couple of years. It's just awesome. You guys are awesome. Okay, so this is from Marsha. Oh, my throat is really dry. Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. Oh, how cute. Look at that. Is that not adorable? It looks handmade. Was Did you make this? I think she made this. This is beautiful. Oh, I love the... But do you see the little sparkly cheekies and ears? That's so cute. Hold on. Let's open this. Merry Christmas. Or Merry Everything and Happy Always. Oh. I thought it was you. This is um, by uh, made by Marsha Mom. And I thought that's who it was when I saw Marsha, but I wasn't sure. But I think this is a handmade card. It is so cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Do you want to sit here? Here, let me pause it. Hold on. Okay, guys, sorry. I, this was so funny. My mom, I, I said, you guys, do you want to sit down? And she goes, no, I'm going to go to my room so I can watch TV. So she points to a phone that's on the, on the armrest of the couch. And she goes, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. And she goes, is this your phone or my phone? And I said, I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm on my phone. That's your phone. And this is the like third time today that we've wondered which phone, because we have the exact same phone. So same color, same color case, same everything. So it's, yeah, it's interesting sometimes. But did you say have your peeps? Yeah, she did a couple times. But you don't have no room. She's okay. having some um, green tea right now. Yes, and a little bit so, of orange. Okay, so I'm going to do the November redraw winner now. Um... I think I'll have enough time to do this, and yeah, okay. So the November redraw winner is going to win. Now this this is for the November surprise giveaway winner, which as you guys know, I do once a month. I drew a winner in November. They had a month to get back to me. They didn't. I mentioned it in a couple videos. Then I redrew the winner about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. I can't remember. They didn't get back to me, so now I'm doing the second and final redraw. So if this person doesn't get back to me, although I'm pretty sure she will because she watches all my videos and she comments and she watches my lives, um, 
if she doesn't get back to me, then this is just going to go back into the um, pot for the next one of the next um, um, surprise giveaways. Now, I'm not going to be able to do as many of the small business features as I did in this year, next year. But I do have a lot of gifts still from small businesses for surprise giveaways, so I'm excited about that. Um, let me just make sure I have everything that's supposed to be part of this giveaway here. Yes, I do. Okay. So the giveaway winner is going to get this um, bookmark from Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts. Um, and then there are these stitch markers that are the gummy bear. They're the green and blue gummy bear stitch markers, or you can wear them as earrings. Mm -hmm. Miley wants to check them out. Just got to make sure they're okay, right? Say hi to your peeps. Say hi, my peeps. And then you get these two hanks of yarn from Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts. This oh, is, um, and this has the um, sparkle in it. It's like a metallic sparkle. This is on her um, Sparkle DK base. It's called Infused. It's 60% superwash merino, 26% nylon, 10% baby alpaca, and 4% metallic. There's 275 yards because it is a DK. Um, and it is super beautiful. So I hope the um, second redraw winner, who I know will get back to me, is cool. loves this. I don't remember if you're allergic to wool. I hope you're not. I seriously can't remember. And I, I hope you're not. <laughs> anyway, if you are, just let me know and we'll figure something out. But um, the second redraw winner for November's surprise giveaway is... Congratulations, Gracie. I am so excited for you. I know you're going to see this, so you're going to contact me. Um, but email me just even though, <clears throat> or you can message me whichever way. But just let me know once you get this. I do know I have your address, but if you want to confirm it, that's fine. Um, but congratulations. Thank you so incredibly much for all of your support. You've been around forever, and you watch my, and I know you watch my lives. You t typically lurk, but I'm sorry. I got to drink something because my throat is like bad. Miley, it's okay. She always walks away when we open a water bottle. We can open any other bottle. It doesn't bother her, but a water bottle, she gets it scares her and she goes into the other room. Anyway. All right, so I don't really know. I don't really have much time left, and I don't want to get into the happy mail. Maybe I'll go ahead and open this one, and I'll leave the other one. I just don't know if I'll have the time even if I do this. Okay, we'll see. Let, let, we'll do this quickly. Okay, so this is a box from Hollow Taco. Um, as you can see, the um, the uh, Hollow um, logo. logo, thank you, which is half taco and then half, um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if I could get into this box. Oh, yeah, I brought scissors, but I didn't bring my flashlight, but I don't really need it, I don't think. Oh, here's a little one. Maybe it'll help. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so warm, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, so let's see. What is this? Okay, this was the one that I was expecting. There's supposed to be a surprise color in here. So as always, everything in here is always holographic. I'm sure you guys can see the, the rainbow. Um, I have no idea which one is the surprise one. Let's see what it says on here. Okay. So this is what I was expecting, and this one was what I was expecting. So let's open up the surprise one. So the surprise one is in here. Oh, it's one coat black. Okay, so if you guys follow Holo, if you know of Hollow Taco or Christine with Simply Nail Logical, um, who created this nail polish line. Um, she has a one coat black, so this is just black nail polish. That's it, just black. But literally, you could put one coat of this on, and it will be one coat. That's all you need. It'll be fully black. It won't be what's the word when it, you could like see through. Um, not opaque. Is that op is mom? I'm asking you. Opaque is like if something's like one coat, it'll oh. be black. Versus where you could see through it, opaque. Right? I think opaque. Yeah. Don't yeah. Be the right word. So anyway, but that's her one coat black. Um, so that's kind of cool, but 
um, <laughs> see through, yeah, <clears throat> I took my, um, cough, or my, my, like, um, like, mucus, like, sinus type of a thing, so I'm not coughing much, I'm grateful for that, because I sound like a horse when I do, but do you see the hollow? Yeah, you can barely see it, but it's on there. All right, so then, the next one is called Midnight Spark. Oh, this is beautiful. It's supposed to be, I'm wanting to see if you could see the holographic. No, you can't. It would be better with the phone. No, not even. No, you can't really okay. see it. Okay. That's a shame, but it's like a midnight blue. It's like a, it's like a, not royal, but midnight. Let's see. Yeah. Do you see the sparkle in there and the holographic? A little, you see it a little bit more in there. Isn't that awesome? I so absolutely love it. Yay. <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm really excited. I just can't squeal because of that just is so sad. It makes me sad. But you see like the back, it, everything on there is like holographic. Oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Do you see, uh, you could kind of sort of see it's holographic. It's much better than that flashlight though. Um, because the flashlight, so this one though, I, I want that. This is called, why is it not on there? This is called Circuit Breaker. Now, I think this is one of the linear hollows that she has, but look at that. Do you see that dancing rainbow in there? Oh my gosh, she does such amazing hollow work. It's incredible. Oh my goodness. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. This is like so, so incredible. I may have to do this on my toes one time. That is just so awesome. I may actually take the dip acrylic off. Okay, that's good with the light. Yeah, queef. Um, I may take a break with the dip acrylic on my hands and just go with regular nail polish. Or even though it wears off on me in a couple days, I may just go to regular nail polish for a little bit and let my fingers, my nails breathe a little. Um, I know after my mom did it for a few, for a couple months. Oh my gosh, my leg is cramping up. Um, she did it for, oh, oh, now it's fallen asleep. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, hold on, guys. I may have to get up. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, so we're back. My whole leg was asleep. Like, the whole store was closed for the flu. If you guys know my cousin Vinny, it just played, <laughs> it just, it just played last night. Um, yeah, my whole leg was asleep. Hi, monkey. I gotta show people, I gotta show your peeps the winners, winnings for this. Oh, thank you for your lapka. She just gave me her paw. No, Miley, you're, you're in the way here. No, okay. Now I'm all hot and like sweaty. Okay, I'll leave the other happy mail for um, another time, but let's get through this so that I have enough time to do this. All right, so my December giveaway winner is going to win all of this stuff. There is this um, um, beautiful, um, it is a yarn condom, but it's a little bit more like almost a, a, like this would be for like maybe a tiny project. You could put one um, a, a cake of yarn in here and then you could fit a crochet hook. I put it on the bottom so it doesn't fall out, but it does have little snaps. I don't know if you could see them, but this is by Puff Stitch, Joe and Puff Stitch. What? cute yeah isn't it it's adorable i love the little pandas she does great work um yeah, definitely check out i'll put the links to all the shops that i mentioned of all the small businesses that donated to this giveaway um and then you've got two actual yarn condoms from uh, knitting notions this one that has the gnomes on it and then this one that has the balls of yarn with the cats which is really cute and again with the yarn condoms all you do is when you cake when you um either have a hank of yarn or you re-cake um, a skein of yarn, you just open, like you take the inside of it. Okay, I can't get into this bag right now. Okay, there we go. Um, it's basically like, it's hugging this piece of cardboard. That's basically what it's gonna do with your yarn. So you're gonna take the cake and put it in there, put it, wrap it around it, and then it just kind of holds your yarn in place. Actually, Hold on. I got one right here with this ball of yarn and my fade project. Yours opens on the bottom. This one is a different one that doesn't. 
but see how it has the cake, the cake of um, yarn in there. Of course, it has to be with the center pole. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. But it holds it in here. So as you're using it and it's starting to get smaller, it just keeps it all contained instead of getting all over the place. So you got two of those from Knitting Notions. Then you've got... Oh, yeah, that's from Jake. You've got two stitch markers, or you can use them as earrings from Coco's Crochet Goodies. Um, again, all the links. I have a 20, I think a 20% off coupon. I know. Um, I think a 20% off coupon. Miley's playing with her toy. I'll put the coupon. The coupon will be next to the link, and I'll put it across the screen. I don't have it for Puff Stitch, and I don't have it for Knitting Notions, um, but I have it for Coco's. And... Um, I have it for one of the other people in here. And then, um, oh, also I have a one-time coupon if you have never used it before with Expression Fiber Arts. I'll also put that down below. But you've got three different teas from David's Tea. As you guys know, that's my favorite tea company. Um, you've got a Breakfast Blend, a Serenity Now, and a North African Mint. Then you've got these cute little stickers from um, Amanda Knits. Um, okay, this is kind of embarrassing for my mom, but it's okay. actually, no, 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 it's, it's designed meaning yarn, but I love a good fingering, <laughs> but it's meaning yarn, but the fingering weight yarn, but anyway, um, and then Fox farts, which is just adorable. And then, uh, sweater weather. So you've got those three coupons from Amanda Knits. Then um, from Olive and To You, which is um, a store here in Celebration, Florida. Well, it's actually their actual shop name. Oh my gosh, it just flew out of my head. Um, I'll put it across the screen right here, but they're in Celebration, Florida. They donated, um, I did a, a yarn, I did a yarn shop tour, a local yarn shop tour. Of their shop I will also put the link to that video down below if you want to check their shop out that way but they donated this beautiful hank of yarn I know it seems more like spring summer but um, that's okay they name all of their bases based on um, authors Market this is Street. Twain what? Market Street Gallery? no no the, remember it was on um, that's a little serendipity you know so that's no know. Um, it's their bases are named after um, authors. This is their Twain base. Uh, it's called Summer Madness, so it is a summer colorway. Um, and they do have a YouTube channel as well. I'll try to link all of the all of this down in the description box below. Um, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It is a fingering weight, 463 yards to 100 grams. Um, and again, I just thought this was really really pretty. So that is one of the hanks of yarn that you get. Plus there's a, oh yeah, this is from Craig with Universe. It's um, Black Sheep Gang. It's a pin. So you also have that. Four curls, Little Thimble. It's in Little Thimble, but it, that's not the name of the shop. But now I'm feeling even worse not knowing it. But, um, and then from Jake with um, Dog Star Knits, who created my, own colorway, which is in that in Natalie's closet, right? In Natalie's closet, yeah. Um, which I'll put the link in the description box below. I do have a coupon code to his shop as well. It'll be there too, and I'll put it across the screen because I don't remember it right now, but I'll put it there. Um, he made my amazing colorway, and we're working on it. We're going to work on something else too here in the near future. But Jake is awesome, does amazing work. This is a pin that he, he um, put in. That says Dog Star Knits. There's also this um, stitch marker on the, this is the, um, uh, what is it called? Um, you know, the light bulb um, stitch marker, but it's got the paw print. And this one is iridescent and has his logo on it, which I love. I know, Jake, I said I need to get some of those. Um, Timber Bell? No. Just don't worry. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you make me crazy. No, I was sitting there in the car with you in there. I will, I will share it with you and I share it with them on yeah. the screen. And then, 
the piece de resistance is a, his color, one of his colorways. It's called Redacted. 2021, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 460 yards. And look at that. Is that not beautiful? So I'm hoping the winner isn't allergic to wool, but if you are, let me know. I'll try to figure something out. I'm not quite sure what, but um, I just think this is so pretty. He does such great work, and between the saturation and everything, just incredible. So, and it'll come in this um, tissue of his. That's his signature um, tissue, which I love. But, um, oh crap, hold on one second. Sorry, I needed to help my mom with something. Anyway, um, okay, so the winner of my Christmas giveaway is... Congratulations, Melanie. I am so excited for you. Please, I don't, I don't think I have your address, but please go ahead and email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com um, with your address, and I will get this out to you in the next couple of weeks. Um, I will let you know once it does go out. But I'm really excited for you. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for your support. I really do appreciate it. And um, I do hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I forgot to say that in the beginning. I apologize. But, um, yeah, we celebrate January 7th. Our big dinner is on January 6th, and, th and that's when we open presents and stuff. And then we go to church on the 7th and, you know, family time. Um, but we do, we did, we do, we did wish everybody a happy, uh, happy, a Merry Christmas. And um, we hope you had a wonderful time with friends and family and that you got some, you know, good meals in and, got lots of presents that you were hoping for and or gave all the presents that you were hoping to be able to give. But um, Miley says bye to her peeps. She's laying down and want to come here? Come here. Say bye to your peeps. Say bye my peeps. Don't look in the camera. Say bye my peeps. Okay. Anyway, she says bye to her peeps. My mom says bye everybody. Okay. She says bye everybody. Thank you all so incredibly much for all of your prayers for her, for her surgery, for her recovery. For Miley, who got a very clean bill of health from the doctor, so yay for that. And the prayers for me, we all appreciate it very, very much. And um, I'm not sure when my next video will be up. The next few weeks are still going to be kind of up in the air with, you know, leaving the office and, and just stuff. But I'm going to hopefully get back to a regular schedule by mid to late January. Um, so I will... Oh, yeah, crap. Oh, I forgot to do this in the beginning. I have homework for you guys. If you're still here, <laughs> that that's awesome. That means you're watching my video from start to finish. But if you were able to, if you were able to ask questions of any small business, like let's say you know I've shared with you guys a bunch of small businesses this past year, if you were able to ask them any kind of questions, whether they're yarn dyers, stitch marker makers, uh, or creators, um, project bag makers whatever the case is, but if you were able to ask them any kind of question, what would it be? Please list all your questions in the comment section below, letting me know what the questions are you would ask them, whether it's why did they go into business or what is their favorite technique or what is their favorite whatever. Whatever you can think of it that you would be interested in asking them if you had the opportunity, please go ahead and list it in the comment section below. Um, it's just for something I'm working on, but um, thank you all so incredibly much for everything. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Um, Again, she said bye to her peeps. Um, and love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And if you need extra prayers but don't want to share it publicly, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. And I will, we will add you to our private prayer list. If you would like me to add you as an anonymous person on my prayer list in public, let me know. I will go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we'll just keep it private. All right. So I think that's it. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys soon. Um, love you guys dearly. Thanks for, thanks for everything. Bye.